Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Monday, the 6th of March, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Austin Jalab Brown passes, and in our feature for this evening, Montessori hosts road runs. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Back and we start with some sad news in cricket. News has been received of the passing of Austin Jalla Brown, also known as Kala of Brownie Nevis. Brown represented the Nevis cricket team as a determined and elegant opening batsman who was fearless in his stroke play. He would have had many run-ins with the fast bowlers from Antigua and he never retreated an inch. His policy was given tit for tat as when they bounced at him, he was never afraid to hook and cut with vigor. Brown succumbed after an extended Ill illness. He was hospitalized at first and then sent home. The cricketing fraternity on Nevis extends in serious condolences to the family of the late Nevisian stalwart. Still with cricket, on Saturday, 4th March, the Nevis under 13 cricketers engaged their Kittishan counterparts at the Brown Hill Recreation Ground. Nevis batting first got to an impressive 161 for 2 with Rundre Daniel stroking 56 and Deshaun James 51 not out. St. Kitts in response could only muster 70 for 9 in 29.1 overs. Summarized scores, Nevis on the 13s, 161 for 2 in 30 overs. Rundre Daniel 56, Deshaun James 51 not out. Kasim Challenger 2 for 19. St. Kitts on the 13th, 70 for 9 in 29.1 overs. Kylan Woods, 18. Clevante Powell, 10. Aiden Williams, 3 for 6. Rondre Daniel, 2 for 5. Kian Sadler, 2 for 16. Nevis on the 13th, won by 91 runs. And sticking with cricket, a female cricket tournament bowled off on Nevis on Saturday, the 4th of March. The two teams facing off in the first match were Nevis Oli Stars and Nevis Green City Heat. The Nevis Green City Heat won the toss and elected to bat first. Lee Woods all-rounder Melissa Clark starred with the bat getting 57, helped by all of 41 extras to get her team to 148 for 9 in the allotted 20 overs. Davana Claxton, Ashina Freeman and Kai Hanley all picked up two wickets each. However, the Nevis Oli Stars overhauled the target in 19.2 overs on the back of 48 by Davana Claxton and, believe it or not, 68 extras. Kishana Huggins, 4 for 41. Shakama won at 2 for 25 were the main bowlers. Nevis Oli Stars won by two wickets. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Hi. I am Sheki Mahanli, the host of Under Farm, where we are vocal about everything local. Tune in to learn about all the exciting things happening in the Ministry of Agriculture and its subsidiaries. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nevis Agriculture. Like our Facebook page at Nevis Agriculture. Or tune in to Nevis Television every Monday to watch new releases. Under Farm, where we are vocal about everything local. Well, I'm back, and athletics is in the spotlight. The Montessori Primary School held its now annual road runs on Friday, the 3rd March. The younger children ran straight across the road from the water department to the school, while the older children had an extended route with the senior boys starting in the vicinity of penniless auto parts. The top results, kindergarten girls first, Isla Marsham Blue. Second, Ayesia Morton Green. Third, Zola Maynard Red. Kindergarten boys, first, Kenzo Archibald Green, second, Azarel Shiverton Red, third, Juden Connor Red. Grades 1 and 2 girls, first, Zara Guy Greenhouse, second, Makian Makaya Maloney Red, third, Jomia Isaac Green. Grades 1 and 2 boys, Chase Harden Blue, second, Jeremiah Gatewood, third, Caden Huggins Red. By the way, Gatewood is Red House as well. 
Grades three to six girls. First, Skylar Connor Blue. Second, Maisha Jeffers Red. Third, Sophie Lawrence Green. Grades three to six boys. First, Jadante Sweeney Green. Second, Name Morton Red. And third, Jail Newton Blue. Well, we take in some of the action from Friday. We're here at the Montessori School. Today they're having their cross country. As usual, the very anxious parents are here in their numbers, waiting to see their particular child or children excel. And so they're all here, having a close-up look. And we should be starting with the kindergarten, kindergarten boys, well, girls first. And they're running from in the vicinity of the lake, Mr. and Mrs. Dyer. And they'll be running up this road right to the school gate. So it's a straight run for the kindergartners. And they will be coming up the road momentarily. So the traffic has been blocked at both ends. Police officer at that end. And behind us, there's a police officer also blocking the road here on the Stuart Williams Drive. Apparently they're gonna let this truck through before the race starts. Well, we're about to have the start of the kindergarten girls formation being made as Coach Kevin Wallace organizes at the far end. So they're starting in the vicinity of the water department actually. And then they'll be racing their way towards the school gate. I don't think that um, prior to last year they, they ever had um, a cross country at this particular school. And so I think that um, Coach Wallace is the one who initiated it and so now the parents and the teachers are very excited about the whole program. So it's going to be the kindergarten girls and they'll be coming towards us and all of the Sherika Jacksons and all of those fast females will be rushing up here in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. It's going to be fast paced, so if you blink, you're going to have problems. So the race should be starting any moment now. So they're off. They're certainly off and running. And the parents are already excited. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. And the parents are really excited here, heading towards us, escorted or being led by the motorcycle. Not every day they'll have a police escort. And we see a leader already. There's a blue house, and um, then there's a red house right close to us. So it's going to be very interesting. If that red house can hold out, well, let's see if we could run, get baby, a close-up run, baby, look. Run, baby. There's encouragement run. here, and uh, the Blue House is going to take it, I believe. There's Blue House already celebrating. Clear winner. Then red. Then blue. Speaking of anyone here, this is going to be close. Blue takes it. Then red. And then we have one waiting for a friend because she fell down. No, I can't believe that. She waited for her and she fell down. And she got up and started to leave her. Well, well, well. And then here comes another. Now we're gonna have some boys. So that was one exciting little race. So now we have the turn of the boys. They'll be heading up here at a fast clip as well, not to be outdone by the girls. Traffic still an issue because um, 
Apparently they didn't cater for this exit road here. They catered for the main road, but traffic is a little tight coming out of this exit road. So you can have the best of plans. And sometimes you just forget one or two little things that could complicate things. And so that should be out of the way and now we should be having the start of the boys race they're being lined up now like I say they're running from that area close to the water department and they'll be off and running the whistle has gone so let's see who will be leading in this one well we already see um, red and green trying to push alongside the motorbike their target is the motorbike they're running very well indeed running very well indeed green red and probably another red this is going to be close oh a little bit of a bungle now but green has a little bit of a lead the other two seem to be tiring but green green looks pretty strong coming up the hill red has stopped for the moment and they're getting the encouragement now. The parents signed to it. The parents signed to it. The parents signed to it. Hey, he's gonna come past the line. Green has won. And then these two. These two. He says, hey, mommy, I'm coming. And he's gone. Then we have a couple. One of them waiting for his friends. He looks back, sees his friends coming. Somebody says, run. So he's kind of running and stopping. He has stopped. He's walking now. Mommy's calling him. But can he close the rail? He says, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, but he's gonna stop again. He's tired. Then two are closing in on him. Here's a, here's a Blue House at least. Closing in. And Blue House, mommy trying to encourage. But um, he's holding hands, maybe. <laughs> well, well, well. What a finish. What a finish. Certainly exciting the crowd here. Really exciting the crowd. Well, that's some um, little Gazik. Now, apparently these children are a little older, so they have gone a little further. They have gone beyond the water department. Not too far though, but it's a little longer distance. And they should be... Hey, careful that everybody will watch them things behind me. Careful. <laughs> so. <coughs> they are off and running. Here they come. These are the older ones. And they, we are already seeing a bit of a leader. Yeah, so it's um, probably grade one. Grade one and two girls. So grade one and two girls. And here they come. Parents into it. Here they come. We have a leader, but not by far. So well, here they come. Here they come. We have uh, a tight one here. We have a tight finish. We have a tight finish, folks. We have a tight finish. Here goes. Winner. Second place. Uh, third place is going off course. Oh, they're going wrong. They're going wrong. They're going wrong. Well, that's interesting how they're going to judge that. Oh, boy. And then we have. Another athlete wondering where else he gets home. Then we have another race for the grade two boys now. So grade two boys should be heading up this way momentarily. So, they will be getting out of the blocks shortly. Grade 2 boys. They are off and running. 
very quickly move in here we have um, a few three of them at least at the top staying close to the motorbike or trying to so here they come we have a red and a blue though moving away from the pack and then there's another one behind the motorbike so at least three of them at the top there could be an interesting finish blue seems to be making a little more waves in the hill and he seems to have a bit of an established lead now so let's see how that works out here's blue clear cut lead now clear cut lead and he knows where he wants to go don't know where to finish that's another issue so here's another and uh, probably one of the younger ones is wondering what's all the excitement about as he goes across the line now and daddy is there to greet him and then mommy also is here to greet Very well. it's all about making it and we have another athlete coming in and two more athletes as a matter of fact um, these thought that today was the walkathon so they started early and he has finished and then there's one more and he's gonna come through now so here they come here he comes well he's not too interested in finishing the race so i think um they're gonna try to get him some help here Yes, teacher is right here to give some encouragement and walk him in so that's the final athlete coming home really creating some excitement here well we're about to have the some of the older girls now they'll be doing a different route all together and they would be starting by the water department but this time around they'll be swinging down the road by the dyers and then coming back up to the school so it's going to be an interesting um, route the boys will be doing a longer route though the older boys so these are the senior girls and they'll be doing a longer route and the senior boys will be doing an even longer route so just about to get going just Hurry about up. to get going Hurry up. any traffic in the road let it come out Mommy is nervous. Oh, she said her heart is in her belly. Mommy, you want to stand by Stand by your tea. Stand by your tea. They're moving. Off and running. Let's see. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Skyler is making a run for it. And the others are trying to keep up, but Connor is leading for the moment. And uh, doing a pretty good job for the moment. So. She seems to be tiring somewhat. Just saw her hand uh, drop a little there. So the others, there's a greenhouse athlete making some waves as well. Connor now. The pressure here, I believe. So here she comes, coming up the incline. Still looking strong. Green trying to keep up, but Green is a distance behind. Connor doing very well. You can see that she's determined to win this one. So, green has turned the corner. Red 
in going for training. So I'm sure Jazzy and Daniel would be very happy when they see Connor uh, turn the corner. Here's mommy, nervous mommy. She would have seen her baby. Says she nervous. She doesn't know if, if she's a long distance runner or a short distance runner. So she's very nervous. I guess she's gonna run it from there. But Connor is still leading. Mommy's gonna do a jog, it looks like. And Connor still large and in charge for the moment. Obviously tired. And she comes up. Go ahead, Beauty. Up the hill she comes. Winner by a mile. Certainly gonna hear the cheers just now. And you see who is leading. So we have a winner. No way she's going to lose this one. And uh, here she comes. Here she comes. The winner by a mile. And there's mommy. Mommy's going to get a second place, you know. Mommy said she wasn't sure what type of an athlete her daughter was. But her daughter may have surprised her because here she comes in second, taking the silver. And mommy not doing badly either. Here she comes. And then we have third place to come oh, in. Mommy tired of the children. I think mommy's burnt out. Yeah. Here comes now. The greenhouse athlete. And then we have Blue House athlete coming up. And uh, Garlic is trying to encourage his daughter. Trying to get her to run. Here she goes to finish the race. All about encouragement here. Young Swanston makes it home. And here we have a blowhouse athlete pushing up the hill. Now. Here's the blowhouse athlete. Here she comes. Here she comes. Blue House crosses the line. Then we have Red. All the way there, all the way to the line. DJ is the name. And she crosses the line now. Obviously, Ted has made it. And then we have Green with a little bit of a rush. Here's a little rush here. She hasn't reached us yet. She thought she was home. And here she comes. And then we have a Red House athlete. Aided and abetted. And then we have somebody behind this athlete, so um, let's see, here yeah, she comes, she's going to get some more encouragement, she has a whole entourage for the name, here yeah, she comes, she's laughing, she's laughing, she'll be able to cross the finish line, she does, of all the athletes for the day, and um, they would be starting any moment now, Coach Kelvin Wallace will give a heads up. So just about to get going. They're on the starters orders. And uh, they're off and running. So here they come. We have a greenhouse athlete already pulling away from the pack. Looks really strong. He looks, he looks really strong. He looks good. And the race is across now. Still leading. Green out and and uh, well, slow down your team. Yeah, yeah. But well, the greenhouse athlete now still leading. Nice strides, very strong look. And then we have the red and two blues staying close to each other. But for the moment, Green is large and in charge with some nice strikes. And seems to, well, some of them have started to walk. But this Greenhouse athlete, he knows what his purpose is. He knows what he wants in life. And so he's heading towards the school. They're already hearing some cheers. So really nice strikes. Really nice strikes. He's really large and in charge. As we come out here by the water department, he's the leader by a mile and a half now. Still going well. The anxious parents along the route. Two seconds, two seconds. 
So yeah, he stuck in the camera the corner now. Here it comes. First place, uh, very yep. strong indeed. And uh, he's gonna take this one hands down by a mile and a half. A winner by a mile and a half. Very, very good run indeed. And uh, getting some encouragement as he comes in. And a round of applause. He has really done superbly. He has done really well. The winner. And then we have Chase. His daddy is calling him in. Chase is coming. Here's Chase. Okay, so apparently he was the winner of the grades one to race here first, but here's Chase. Coming into daddy, he has done extremely well. And then we have the others. Some parents all excited as the Red House athlete comes up the hill. And they're getting a loud cheer. He's gonna take the bronze medal. Mommy is all excited. So here's the third place. Here's the third place. I think that could be mommy. All excited. Very happy indeed. Then we have a fast finish here. Fast finish. Good fast finish. And then we have the big man. Heading home now. And uh, this is Shiverton, young Shiverton. He comes in, here's mommy. Mommy told me that he's an athlete, so I'm not seeing mommy. But here comes Red House now. Here's Red House. Nice, strong finish up the hill. This uphill takes a lot out of them. As he comes across the finish line, he, he's obviously tired. Then we have a Blue House athlete. Again, that hill has been a bit of a problem. So, Jamaritis, blue shirt, blue shoes, and uh, really trying to finish just to complete. Next level player he is as he comes in. And then we have a greenhouse athlete. He's trying his utmost to get through this hill. It's a tough climb. And here he comes. Race completed, is it? I think the race is completed. Oh, there's another athlete way down the road. I think there's another athlete in this race. He needs somebody to encourage him if he's really in this race. He's way down by the water department area. He's walking. And I think he's in the race. But they left him way behind. So he's now getting some encouragement. They're trying to get him to finish. It's all about completing the course as the wind picks up here at the Montessori School. So, still. I think he's definitely in this race. But he's walking for the moment. And just trying to get to the finish line. So, he started to run again. Got some encouragement to run. So he's trying to complete this race. I don't think there's anybody else um, left in this race. This is the last place person. And it's good to start and finish. So he's getting encouragement as he comes in to loud applause. It's all about finishing. You don't start and don't finish. So he's coming home to loud cheers. And the determination and grit shown here. And that concludes the race. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit.
but to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.